Joints. In this video I am going to show you what I've learned about joints in Godot. Disclaimer. Prior to this video I had no idea about joints or how they work at all, so I did all the research myself in the internet. Pin joints. Pin joints are used to connect two physics bodies and the joint acts as an anchor point. You can also make the joint rotate as a motor. You can limit the joint to certain angles, but be very careful with how you set the parameters, because it may not behave very consistently right now. <laughs> you can also use pin joints to make ropes. Groove joints. Let's get groovy. With groove joints, the movement of the joint is limited to one axis, so the best way to think about groove joints is to think about pistons. I made this piston rotate to show you that the axis can rotate as well. And here is an example that's very similar to those rail carts. Damped spring joints. The spring joints can be described as springs. So in this case the movement is not limited to one axis, but you can lock the rotation of the body, which gets you a similar effect. For spring joints, you can set the initial length between the body and the resting length of the spring, so the spring will either push or pull the two bodies to that length. Let's take a deeper dive into the properties of stiffness and damping of the spring joints. The best way to think about stiffness and damping is that stiffness is like how strong is the spring, so it's easier to think about it like force. Damping, however, controls how strong the spring resists to strong changes in the length of the spring, so it's intuitive to think about it like friction, for example. And you can play with these values to get all sorts of different effects. So now that we more or less understand how each joint works, we can also mix and match them and combine them to get more complex behaviors. So here we have one ball that has a constant force applied on it to go right, and another ball that's just going to fall. We have these two planks which are connected together with a pin joint, and their rotation is locked so they will stay horizontal. The plank on the right is connected to the ceiling with a spring joint, so it can go up and down. The plank on the left is connected to the wall with a groove joint, so movement is locked in the axis that can go only up and down. And in the example we can see all the effects of the mass of the balls and the gravity play into the height of the platform. I think that's about all I have to say about joints. Hopefully that helps you understand the joints in Godot a bit better. But if not, feel free to ask in the comments. But yeah, that's about all I had to say for now. Hope this helps someone. So, see you later, I guess?